This is the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean on Earth. If you take Mount Everest and place it into Challenger Deep, the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, there would still be over 2 kilometers of water between the tip of the mountain and surface of the ocean. And if you stand up at the bottom of Challenger Deep, you need to withstand the pressure of 23 Empire State buildings stacked one on top of each other, pressing down on you. Yes, the deepest part of our ocean is 10,984 meters deep. So what is the maximum depth we reached? How can you conquer an area so unforgiven and hostile that it is easier to get to the moon than reach this depth? And can you find any sort of life down there? This is the incredible history of humans trying to reach a place we know less about than the surface of Mars. If we really want to go back as far as we can and blur a little bit the meaning of deep sea exploration, we can take a look at the Vikings. Vikings dropped lead weights attached to ropes to measure the depth of the ocean, but for some this is not quite deep sea exploration, and I kinda agree. But most of the expeditions in the early days revolved around this, just trying to find the bottom, and later trying to catch a new species, and this continued until the second half of the 17th century. And it is logical, everybody thought that if you go deeper than 200 meters you wouldn't find any sort of life, because over 200 meters the light fades out and that means no plants, and no plants means no animals, so why would you try to dive if there is nothing to see or find? But this didn't last for too long, because in 1868 a man named Sir Charles Thompson went on an expedition and used a special tool, a sort of dredge, to scrub the ocean floor. And he discovered several new species of fauna that lives 500 meters deep into the ocean. And in 1872, Thompson led the team on a three and a half years mission across the world. And on their voyage, they dropped the dredges deeper and deeper. And in 1875, they dropped the dredge in the Pacific just southwest of Guam, and it recorded 8184 meters. They have just discovered Challenger Deep. The ship they were on board when they made this discovery is named HMS Challenger, hence the name. And by the end of this expedition in 1876, they discovered a total of 4417 new species of marine organisms finally proving that there is life and that there are thousands of species living in the deep ocean. Yes, I know, from the Viking era to this expedition we just talked about, it is still the same thing, just drop weight attached to ropes. Where is the deep sea exploration we are talking about? I'm talking about humans diving. In 1623, a man named Cornelius Drebbel made the first submarine, and it looks like this. Yes, it is made of wood, and yes, these are oars, and yes, I agree. This won't take us to the bottom of Challenger Deep. But this was the beginning. Many improvements were made and in 1930, William Beebe and Otis Burton reached the depth of 435 meters in the body sphere. And some years later, others reached 923 meters and in 1948, Otis set the new record of 1370 meters. But we need to wait almost 30 years until 1960 when the big boys entered the scene. This is August Picard and this guy is known for his incredible hydrogen balloons flights. He studied Earth's atmosphere and space radiation and among his inventions you can find this, the Trieste. On the 23rd of January 1960, Jack Picard, the son of August Picard and his companion Don Walsh dove into Challenger Deep. During their descent, a crack formed in the outer window, and they had a dilemma. If they reached the bottom, they would be the first ones ever to do it. So both of them agreed to continue the mission, and after 5 long hours, the Trieste finally touched the bottom of Challenger Deep, at a depth of 10,911 meters. 
They spent 20 minutes at the bottom then 3 hours to reach the surface again. This was a great mission. So great that nobody tried to do it for the next 50 years until 2012 when James Cameron decided to give it a go. On the 23rd of March 2012, on board of the DSV Deep Sea Challenger, James Cameron dove into Challenger Deep. And after 2 hours and 36 minutes of descent, he touched the bottom at the depth of 10,908 meters. Then you have this guy. This guy dove a dozen of times in Challenger Deep. He set the all-time record in 2019. He reached a depth of 10,927 meters. He dove to the deepest point in all five oceans. He holds the Guinness World Record for the person who has covered the greatest vertical distance without leaving the Earth's surface. And he's the first person to have descended to the deepest spot in the ocean and ascended Mount Everest. He's the first human to have reached the bottom of the Puerto Rico Trench, the Sonda Trench, the Molloy Deep, the Sierra Deep, Deep, the horizon deep and the deepest point of the southern ocean. Yeah. And during all these voyages and expeditions, against all odds, these divers actually found animals living at this depth. Unfortunately, you won't find anything like the monsters you see on some YouTube videos templates, but more like some spoonworms, snailfish, some shrimps and sea cucumbers. Yeah, it is a little bit disappointing, but intriguing. It took several decades and a whole lot of innovations and a really sturdy submarine made of titanium to finally reach these depths. And when you get there, you find a squishy animal already there. And in fact, it always has been there and it can withstand this pressure. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, if you did, don't hesitate to like and subscribe, and yeah, I will see you soon.